If you thought you'll never experience a star explosion, get ready. There's one star in our vicinity that has the potential to explode and illuminate the night sky. Which star are we talking about? Well, you'll soon find out in today's video. Before we begin, however, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for the latest notifications and updates. With that said, let's jump right into the content, guys. Betelgeuse is the nearest red supergiant star to Earth. Someday it'll explode as a supernova, but when? Just over a year ago, in late 2019, Betelgeuse sparked excitement around the world when it began dimming noticeably. The strange dimming of Betelgeuse caused some to believe the big event was close at hand. But Betelgeuse hasn't exploded yet. This highly noticeable star in the constellation Orion the Hunter has since regained brightness, dimmed again, and brightened again, apparently now returning to a less active state. Clearly, though, more dimming could happen at any time. You can actually watch Betelgeuse in the night sky and witness the action for yourself. It's easy to spot as the second brightest star in Orion, marking the hunter's right shoulder. Betelgeuse shines with a somber hue. It's well-placed for viewing in the evening sky during the first couple of months of every year. You might be wondering, why did Betelgeuse start dimming all of a sudden? Well, the strange dimming of Betelgeuse was apparently caused by a cloud of hot gas, released by the star that temporarily blocked some of the star's light. A statement from the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, released in August 2020, explained, Between October and November 2019, Hubble Space Telescope observed dense, heated material moving outward through the star's extended atmosphere at 200,000 miles per hour. The following month, several ground-based telescopes observed a decrease in brightness in Betelgeuse's southern hemisphere as if something was blocking light in this region of the star. By February 2020, the star had lost more than two-thirds of its brilliance, a dimming visible even to the unaided eye, creating buzz that the star might be going supernova. Astronomers further explained, With Hubble, we had previously observed hot convection cells on the surface of Betelgeuse, and in the fall of 2019, we discovered a large amount of dense hot gas moving outwards through Betelgeuse's extended atmosphere. We think this gas cooled down millions of miles outside the star to form the dust that blocked the southern part of the star imaged in January and February. The material was two to four times more luminous than the star's normal brightness. And then, about a month later, the south part of Betelgeuse dimmed conspicuously as the star grew fainter. We think it possible that a dark cloud resulted from the outflow that Hubble detected. There is a high chance that Betelgeuse will explode someday, but we don't know when. Betelgeuse may lie as close as 430 light years from Earth. Betelgeuse is far away, yet it's one of the brightest stars in Earth's sky, because it's intrinsically very brilliant, some 100,000 times brighter than our own Sun. Such brilliance comes at a price. Betelgeuse's enormous energy requires that its fuel be expended quickly, which hastens the end of its life. Someday, soon, the star will run out of fuel, collapse under its own weight, and then rebound in a spectacular supernova explosion. When this happens, Betelgeuse will brighten enormously for a few weeks or months, perhaps becoming as bright as the full moon and be visible in broad daylight. When will it happen? Probably not in our lifetimes, but in fact, no one really knows. It could be tomorrow or a million years in the future. Are there any dangers to our planet and other planets in our solar system? Many are concerned if Betelgeuse will affect our Earth and other planets in our solar system. However, there is nothing to worry about. Whenever Betelgeuse blows up, our planet Earth and other planets in our solar system are too far away for this explosion to harm, much less destroy life on Earth. Astrophysicists say we'd have to be within 50 light years of a supernova for it to harm us. Betelgeuse is nearly 10 times this distance. Instead, Anyone alive on Earth when it happens will be treated to an amazingly beautiful sight in the night sky, a very, very, very bright star. Astronomers will be lucky to have Betelgeuse as close as it is so that they can study the star post-supernova. How to view Betelgeuse in the night sky? As we mentioned earlier, you can view Betelgeuse in the night sky. At mid-northern latitudes, around the first of every year, Betelgeuse rises around sunset. The star is well-placed for viewing on January and February evenings. By the beginning of March, this star is due south in the early evenings. By mid-May, it can be glimpsed briefly in the west after sunset. Betelgeuse is traveling behind the sun in early summer, but it returns to the east before dawn by about mid-July. The star Betelgeuse has a distinctive color, somber orange-red. It's ideal for convincing non-believers that stars do, in fact, come in colors. Stars designated as Alpha are typically brightest in their constellations but Betelgeuse is Alpha Orionis, despite the fact that it's fainter than Orion's other bright star, Regal. Betelgeuse is the tenth brightest star in the sky, overall, and it's the seventh brightest star visible for most of the US, Canada, Europe, and the majority of the Northern Hemisphere. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. Thank you so much for watching.